Wolves have seen dozens upon dozens of changes over the past few updates, and inside this brand new snapshot, we're seeing even more changes, because now, when you actually have two different types of wolves with two different types of colors, that baby wolf that will be gotten will be completely randomized based on the color. So, say we have this green color right here, and we give this guy a little bit of steak, and then we give you a little bit of steak. We let you two do your business, and then we're eventually going to get this little guy and as we can see right here his collar is red meaning yeah the dominant uh i guess a uh, recessive collar gene of uh this wolf was uh dominant over the other one maybe it's determined based on like which one which wolf you feed first maybe that's it okay we got a green collar here we got a blue collar here if we actually feed you and then we feed you are we gonna get a blue wolf are we gonna get a blue wolf is that the thing we're gonna be getting no no, we're actually getting, uh, think, a cyan wolf. Huh, I, I wasn't even expecting that. So now, not only can you get uh, multiple uh, different wolf colors based on their, their colors and the biomes and things like that, but you can also get uh, mixed colors. Even if you uh, have a green and a blue one, you can mix it to get cyan, which I guess that's how colors work. I mean, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how I couldn't mix uh, two and two together, like how I make how they mix these colors together. Okay, one more time, one more time, and I'd imagine something similar is going to happen if I feed a blue wolf and a red wolf, but there's only one way to find out. Get back here. Get back here. Get back here. Let's see. Let's see. Did we get... Hold still. Where'd you go? <laughs> yep. Purple wolf. Purple wolf. So, if you want uh, mixed colors and you don't want to have to, I don't know, create the dye for it or something like that, then you could always uh, breed two different wolves of uh, different colors to get specific colors if you if you really want to. Speaking of things you could do if you really want to, before, in, ca in the case you want to actually trim your armor with the resin, you could just use the resin before, but now as this one snapshot, you have to use the resin bricks. Uh, what's going on here? I was literally told in the changelog it had to be blocks of resin, but maybe, maybe not? Oh, this type of resin brick. Well, that, that doesn't make things confusing at all. Or, no, what is going on here? <laughs> like, seriously. And now you can't even combine that. It can't be upgraded this way. Well, I can't upgrade it any other way, meaning, uh, the intended use for the resin brick can't be used because you can't put it in that slot, meaning there's no way on trimming, uh, any armor with resin right now. But if you did want to trim it, and when a new snapshot comes out to fix this change, then all you gotta use is this little thing. Just call it a resin ingot and make things so much simpler. I mean, just, just look at this thing. I mean, come on. Speaking of things that would make sense, in certain cases, like, certain mobs could pick up, like, weapons or something like that. Say, like, a skeleton could pick up a sword or a zombie could pick up, like, a bow or something like that. Well, now's this one snapshot. They actually have preferred weapons. In the case they have the option of picking up, say, like, a bow or a sword, this guy will always try picking up that bow. Piglins, they will always try picking up crossbows. Drowns, they will always try picking up trines before any other different type of weapon they're offered. And speaking of things, things are offered. In the case you are given, like, a closed eye blossom to a bee, they won't interact with it. It has to be an open eye blossom, which means the only way you can really use it is in uh, nighttime, or is in when you are trying to harm a bee, as we can see. Just stop going over it. You know what I'm doing. I'm not gonna call y'all idiots yet, but I am saying you know this stuff hurts you. I mean, just look at it. Come on. And there have been other things inside this one snapshot, but for the most part, that's pretty much the main things inside of it. Apart from maybe one or two different parity changes from Bedrock, such as with, like, the saturation timing of, like, the Suspicious Dew and stuff, but for the most part, that's pretty much it. And that does mean that's pretty much a sign that this update is probably drawing a close relatively soon. We already knew that, but in the case they do want to make this a holiday release, they are going to have to gradually, but quickly, start just ironing out bugs and just finishing up some last minute things around the place. But yeah, while they do figure that out, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later.